Hey everyone, welcome back to the another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add a custom info window in our Google map similar to our map. You can see here is the three marker and if you click on any marker, you can see this is the custom info window. Here is the image, text and some other field. You can add any field that you have required and we have not only displayed the same info window in every place, we have displayed the info window respected to the place you can see and when you click on the any place the map move to the respected place and display the respected info window let's start the complete video and learn this process let's continue the today's video you can see i have just initialized the google map i hope you have know how to initialize the google map if you have any problem to display the google map in your flutter app you can watch my previous tutorial. I think this is our sixth video in Google map. We have covered all the components in Google map in upcoming video. We have also covered the remaining topics. You have already watched the demo. What we are going to learn in our today's video. We are going to add a custom info window in our marker. For that, the first step is we need to add this custom info window package it helps us to display the custom info window for that just copy this package and paste it in pubspec.yml you can see after that we have ready to continue the today's video after you have added the package the next step is you need to initialize the controller it manage the custom info window we have here After we have initializing the custom info window, we have also set the marker to be displayed on the map. After we have set the marker, now we have created the one list of array to list the coordinate lat long where a marker will be placed. And you have give the any name to this array. You can add any number of latitude and longitude. I have add just three. You can see I have add the three latitude and longitude that I am going to display in my map. After this, we are going to initialize it. And I have created one function. I'll give the name display info. This function is used to add the marker and the costume info window on the map. First, we apply the simple for loop. Here you can see I have just applied the simple for loop where the value of i is starting from the zero index and its values goes until the length of this array. How many number of length we don't matter. It's go until the last index and increase the value of index every time by one. And inside this function we have add the marker marker dot add and here is the marker. We need to define the marker ID. We have defined the unique marker ID that is from i dot to in string. Every time the marker ID will be unique. After this marker ID, we have de defined the default marker icon. This is bitmap descriptor dot default marker. Marker we have display this marker and where we have display this in this all the point that we have defined is in the array and here is the on tab function. After we have add the marker, here we have defined the set state and we have initialized this function here. Display info. And we have initialized the marker here. You can see marker, marker. Let's save it and restart the app. Here you can see, I think I'll set this zoom to seven. After we have displayed this three marker, now we have defined the custom in info window from the package that we have already added in our system controller. Inside this controller, we have added the custom info window controller. And here you can see, here is the height, width and offset. You can provide any height 
and I think I'll provide the 150 for height with 250 and the offset is 40. After this, I have defined the on map create function. It is used to assign the map controller to the custom info window controller. Now, after the on map create function is defined, we will display our custom info window. Custom info window controller dot add info window. You can see it takes two positional argument argument is expect. The first is any widget. You can display the any widget. I will e display the container. And second is position that I have defined this same position from the marker. And let's try inside this child column text children text and let's try it is working or not and if you click here you can see the nepal is display but we have designed this by this way if you click on every marker display the same info but in this video we have display the unique info according to the marker location for that first we have add the corresponding name for the location and corresponding image url for the location for that i have already collect the name in the image here you can see i have defined the three address and its corresponding image you can display any text icon but i'll display the image we have display the image from the network here you can see inside this image i'll provide the location image dot index here you can see the location image it display the image corresponding to its index and i'll provide the height to 125 and width to the 250 after this i'll also define the name i'll just define the text widget inside this text widget i'll provide the location name that i have defined in the top of my location name array by this way you can display the unique info window let's restart the app and if you click on this here you can see pokhara and image and if you click on another location here you can see the different image and different name is appear and if you click on another image here you can see by this way you can display the unique info window according to the corresponding location if you just provide the one network image here and its name then you have show the same info window in all the marker and if you define the name and image by this way for creating one list and provide it the name of the marker and the image of the corresponding location you have display a this type of info window at the end of this tutorial i hope you have learned how to create a unique and dynamic info window in our google map okay bye bye i'll come with another feature of the google map